Hello, this is my first recording of Gypsy Songs by Joseph Baloch. It is an alto saxophone accompaniment. And the reason that I picked this piece is because I put a little bit of time and research into picking a new saxophone accompaniment after I finished with Hooligan Strain. Uh, the reason I finished Hooligan Strain a wee bit prematurely was because there was octaves in the left hand that I was just really struggling to work through. So I decided to pick this piece because there are a few passages that do have octaves, but um, they're not going to be the same. There's not going to be just as much strain the uh, tempo isn't quite as fast so I think I'll be able to manage the full accompaniment better with those octaves just because I was able to play full against strain a little bit better when it was slower but I just couldn't manage it full speed tempo when I was doing the quaver movements at an octave. This piece doesn't have um, quaver, quaver octaves, it's just um, solid crotchet beat octaves and I think that that difference is going to let me kind of build a bridge and a middle ground so that I can stretch myself to back to the type of pieces where I've got like moving quaver octaves and um, so that's kind of what this piece is going to be it's going to help me build up strength for those other types of pieces um, what I'm going to do is work on the first page today just hands separately I'm going to set my metronome to 40 minimum beats for the first two lines and then when I get to the next two lines, I'm going to take that minimum beat and keep it at 40, but then change it to crotchet speed. Um, and just hand separately.
So there are still things that I need to think about working on when I play this piece. For example, when I get into the third line, which is where the tempo changes, I need to make sure that I'm still reading for the accidentals and any signs that have changed back to the original key signature. And also, I just have to be a bit more careful with my left hand. I was playing some chords with some wrong notes in the first section. So those are things that I'm going to have to work on over the week before I can move on to page two. I think where I would like to go with this piece is continuing to work on the first section hand separately for quite a while just because I feel like it is quite difficult I don't want to put it together straight away I feel like I'll have a much easier time putting the next section the vamp together so I'll probably work on hand separately for the first two lines and then putting the next section hands together for next week